Hey everybody, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to load Android apps from our own Goody Reader app store onto your Playbook tablet. There's a few things you need and I'm just going to tell you what you need to do on your tablet. We've actually shot a video on how to do this, but in uh, the hopes that you guys will be able to just do this because it's really easy, all you do is hit your settings button and then go to security and then there's an option there called development mode. You want to turn that on, select basically a password. It can be as few digits or as long digits as you want. I just basically use the number 129 uh, for my own. And then on your playbook tablet, a little shirt guy will appear. It'll usually say development mode on, expires in 10 days, and it'll give you an IP address. Now there's two IP addresses being shown. You just want to use the first one. And that's basically all you have to do on your playbook tablet. That's the easy part. Now you want to connect it up to your PC via the micro USB cable. And then visit our app store here at goodyreader.com slash apps. We have over about six to 700 apps now. New apps of the day always go under new playbook apps, and they usually stay there for about two days, and then we put them in their dedicated categories, kids apps, sports apps, travel and leisure, business productivity, music, and so on. Now, there is an application that you need to uh, install here before you can get going. And it's entitled Essential Download Load Android Apps on Your Playbook. Now, you can get this app from various sources. We recommend just to get it from us because we always have uh, the latest version. It's basically um, DDPB, which is an independent software program. It basically allows you to take apps that you've downloaded from our app store and install them on your playbook tablet. So you just hit download here, install the self installing package. There's full instructions on the entire process written here. And then there's a few videos uh, that we did as well that should help you with that. Now, the purpose of today's video is just to give you a really easy uh, rendition of what you need to do. So once a DDPB is installed, you also need to install the latest version of Java. This is tremendously important and a lot of users have messaged us and emailed us on a constant basis and say, okay, look, I hit scan and usually my IP address shows up. I enter my password and I hit connect. Many users have said they're entering their development mode password, which is what this is asking you to do correctly, but it always says invalid password. What's the deal? You really have to make sure that you have a Java 32-bit installed on your PC. And once you uh, install it, to reboot your computer. Now, if you have a previous version of Java, I just recommend straight up uninstall it, re, uh, install the new version, reboot your computer, and you're good to go. Uh, Microsoft.net is pretty important. You don't have to go anywhere specific to install it, but I do recommend going to Microsoft Windows Update and that will allow you to install it and all the subsequent updates. So once you hit scan and you're IP number should appear, and this IP number again is found on your playbook when you hit the guy with the shirt on your main navigation bar at the top right hand corner. You enter your development mode password that you used under uh, settings, security, and then development mode, and then hit connect. And once you connect, you should see all this. Once you're seeing this, you're pretty well good to go. And you can simply download whatever app you want from our store and install on your playbook. All of our apps are free apps and it's pretty easy. You can hit download here. Download it directly to your PC and then you can simply just click add, select the bar file and again 
the BlackBerry Playbook for Android files only reads bar. You can't load uh, an APK file that you were to download from the internet or from the Google Play Market and install it. It has to be a bar. Don't worry about converting it to a bar. It is a very complicated process. The reason why we did our store like that is we went through all the tedious effort to convert Android files to bars, test them on our playbooks, make sure everything was working correctly, and then post them uh, publicly for download. So once everything's selected here, just click install and then once you kind of get to uh, an okay selection screen it means the apps installed on your playbook and that you could use it uh, there's lots of playbook stores out there but a lot of them don't test their apps or they're pirated and so on we only have the legit light free uh, version of the Android apps so you won't find anything kind of facetious or bad on there so once it's installed you can just hit cancel sometimes you saw as uh, it got to 50% installed that's common you pretty well you just have to uh, load up the app on your playbook just to see if it worked correctly if it didn't just hit uninstall and then you see an okay and then I'm gonna just try to install it again sometimes it hangs sometimes you know as you saw it only got to 50 percent and then it froze and it didn't actually install the app you know on our playbook so that's kind of common um once you see okay here there's no other option here you just hit cancel but don't worry about hitting cancel it won't delete any of your applications so you can hit that uh, if you want to uninstall any of your apps on your playbook you can just hit the uninstall button so you can sort of run a, um, a tally list here. But keep in mind if you have, say, a list of like five or six bars here and you actually delete the bars on your PC, you won't be able to uninstall them. So I recommend just to have like a dedicated directory that all the downloads that you have are and then you can keep the list here and then if you want to uninstall them you can use the software. I recommend to use this un uh, uninstall software here um, rather than use ES File Explorer, Astro File Manager, a lot of their uninstalling packages on their Android apps that are working on the playbook currently crash when you try to uninstall it so um, keep that in mind and again we don't have any broken apps so you can get the full version of the applications this has just been a quick overview on how to install android apps using ddpb on your blackberry playbook for goodyreader.com my name is michael and everybody take care